Uh, all right, we, we we haven't done this in a minute. Like, I'm talking month and month, but you know, the juice is still probably there. So you know, all right, let's cook. Let's let's, let's get this done. Series seven in Pokemon Sword and Shield is a fucking plague. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ryuichi, and welcome to Onkami. If y'all haven't seen the first two episodes, that was like months ago. This is a series where I just rant on about random shit that I dislike or has been bothering me in the last few days. But this one, this takes the cake. But before that, I'd like to say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody who's observing it currently in the States. Or if you're not in the States and you just want to be a fat ass and just eat as much as we are in the States. Just remember to keep social distancing because we are still in a pandemic. And remember, don't travel if you don't have to. Stay right at home. Get some takeout. Get some Popeyes. Get a chicken sandwich. <laughs> but nah. Um, let's 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 get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the main point of this. Series seven VGC in Sword and Shield has started a few weeks ago, and it has been the most annoying experience of my goddamn life. Why, you may ask? Because when the Crown Tundra DLC dropped, almost every single legendary from the previous games has returned, and you can catch the ball via Max Adventures, you know, the Dynamax raids, and or you can transfer them over from Pokemon Home via Pokemon Bank, or from the recently released update for Pokemon Go, which will allow you to transfer them over from Pokemon Go. But the thing is, if you're transferring them, you know, you gotta take them to battle tower, you gotta get them a passport so they can participate in VGC battles and sort of shit in the Galar region because, you know, you, you, you just come to a whole, a whole different country. Baby, you need your passport. Where your passport at, baby? Where your papers? But no. Ranked battle, like, freaking. It, it's been plagued with legendaries after legendaries after legendaries after legendaries after legendaries. And it is the most annoying thing ever because you're thinking, okay, I'm just gonna run into some degenerate ass tactics like Torkoal, like like Sun teams or Rain teams or Trick Room teams, or a combination of a Trick Room and a Sun team. But no, you gotta you're gonna be running into like fucking the Galar the Galarian birds. You're gonna run into the new Reggies, uh, Reggie Alecki and Reggie Draco. You're gonna run into Lander thing because that boy's back and he's just like itching and piss people off like any any combination of legendaries you want to see you're gonna well, you don't want to see i say you want to see them you don't want to see those any com any combination you don't want to see you're gonna see them i personally do not use legendaries because i think that they're well i'm not gonna say they're pointless but i just don't like using them the only two i will openly admit that i used was tapu lele and tapu coco only because of their abilities which was terrain setters they're terrain setters respectively but i'm talking like you'll see like team like you know you when you go on a rank you see you got the team previews and everything see what you're going up against and how you could plan accordingly you be seeing nothing but goddamn teams of four legendaries and two pseudos or four legendaries and two random pokemon that just fill, that's just slot fillers and it's it's annoying. It's, it really is because it's just like this is what I'm jumping in the ranks for. You might as well just like power on your switch, take a take a shot of friggin' of vodka or something, take a shot of tequila, freaking grab some coquitos for the holidays, and just like all right, what what kind of fuckery am I gonna run into today? Back in series six, we had bands. We had the for the, for the first time in in game Pokemon like online battles, we've had bands. And the ban list was pretty, pretty, pretty vast because it was the top, it was the top 10 Pokemon used in series five, which some of them being Rillaboom, Grin, I was about to say Greninja, holy shit, Rillaboom, Cinder Ace, Dragapult, Gyarados, Togekiss, um, Mimikyu, like Pokemon like that, like Whimsicott. But when series seven started, they all got unbanned. I'm guessing they unbanned all of them because it's just like, yeah, y'all could be free because y'all got this fuckery to deal with now, so have fun with that. But we we have like we literally have one of two options at this point in series seven. We can either a brave it out 
and just like continue to fight and find counters and checks or b we can just stop playing ranked until series nine starts and by wait series seven series eight series eight i don't know why i said series nine holy shit series eight and hope that some of the legendaries get banned what am i gonna do i'm gonna brave it up because i i've been really competitive in pokemon since so show came out and it's been the most fun i've had especially since i'm able to actually stream my battles which you can you can find over on twitch.tv forward slash daydreamer I, I try to stream almost every day we'll we'll see how that lasts how long that lasts but um but yeah like i'm, I'm gonna brave it out i personally think y'all should brave it out too despite how annoying it is and prepare to see a lot of landorus because that guy is going to be the bane of your existence i'm going to tell you that right now everybody in the mamas is going to run landorus have some ice pokemon but that that's that's what what i think about it let me know what you think in the comments below let me know if there's anything you want me to discuss on on kami and i will look it up and see if this is worth talking about or worth popping a blood vessel over but with that being said i will catch you all with the next video and always remember keep stargazing